Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you these tensegrity structures. And what is tensegrity? Well, the definition is the following. It is a structural principle based on a system of isolated components under compression inside a network of continuous tension. It is actually simpler than it sounds. What we have, for example, in this one, we have two rigid parts. This one made out of copper wires and another identical one at the bottom. And they are joined with this ball chain from a curtain. It is not rigid, as you can see, and also a rubber band between the two pieces. And as you can see, the result is a structure that has some rigidity. And also we have this other one, which is almost the same, but it is uh, two squares and we have normal thread at each of the corners. And also we have another thread joining the two triangles at the middle. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. The rubber band at the center prevents the upper piece from falling down and also this part, this piece, does not rotate because when it tries to move like this, these two chains are loose but this will be in tension, preventing the rotation. And also in the other directions, the same happens. Two chains get loose and another is tensed. It can resist some weight, but not too much. You can see it, it fell apart, but we just put it again into position. And there it is. The other one works in exactly the same principle, but we have four threads instead of only three, as in the first case. And also we have a thread at the center joining the two pieces together. Since it has four threads, it has more stability. You can put more weight here without problem. We can see that if we put some weight at one of the sides, for example here, these two threads are loose and these other two are in tension. If we move the weight to the other side, now these two are loose and these two are tense. And the thread at the center is always in tension. Okay, so there you have it, structures that work on the tensegrity principle. This is very fascinating, I hope you like it as much as I did. Thanks for your visit to my channel and see you in the next video.